So we're driving to the Tulsa Expo Center, and we got this douchebag over here trying to run us over. Turn your fucking radio off, you little bitch! That's why your name's Raven, huh? He just cut me off. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. We're about to show Raven Cope what's up. He keeps fucking around. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. We're blocking this motherfucker. Hey, fuck you, you son of a bitch! Hey, you son of a bitch! I'll get out the car on this nigga. People are losing their fucking lives around here. They're like, what the fuck's this dude in the molly going crazy <laughs> No, nah, bitch. No, nah, bitch. You better get your fucking ass over, bitch. Hell no. Ain't nothing but a Chevy behind me. Oh. Oh. Oh, you motherfucker. Hey. Hey. Oh, hell no. This is it now. We have just got into a fight at the motherfucking Expo Center. We, we, we parking it? We about to get some shit going? No, oh, he's he trying to brake check me now. I don't know where he's leading me. This could be really bad. Has he not figured out there's no parking spots around here? If you're racing or not, don't follow Raven Colt. He has no idea where he's fucking going. This is the only way you can get to the front. Is by turning away from Raven Colt and finding an actual parking spot because he just doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. So don't follow him in traffic. Obviously, you're going to get held up. I believe the RC Chili Bowl is going on. Now, we'll go over here and see if these old things are racing at the Mustang Arena. Not be, I don't know. This almost looks like a motherfucking Ford dealership for used trucks. Look at this shit. What the fuck? Oh, boy. Bigfoot looking at me. Oh, I think I just heard me the winding noise of some electronic batteries. Texas. To the war staging area, please. Just the, uh, do you know where the RC? Huh? You know where the RC races are? Oh, for the, for the, uh, little bit. No, not the. No, no, I don't, I don't. Okay, what is this? This is wrestling. Wrestling? Yeah. Okay. All right. Novelist wrestling. Okay. So they're in there wrestling with each other. Oh, oh boy, I think I found me a good no. Let's see. Did we find it? I think we did. Yep. So that's the RC Chili Bowl. Who are you? Jared Crumrine. Oh, okay. These people are taking stuff serious over here. Oh, yeah. What's wrong with them? Big deal. RC guys. We got guys from Canada, Delaware, Florida. You don't have some big TP? Got a trailer. You're upgraded. Oh, you're covering up. I'm covering up. You just go with the black 33. That's it. Yep. Freemasonry. <laughs> 33rd degree, bro. And so this controller deal. What's what's the screen for? So the, so the screen. You can adjust. All kinds of things. You can just steering, okay. throttle, what it does. The controller's where the money's at, right? Absolutely. This is six hundred dollars. What the hell is wrong with you? And then what's the throttle like? How do you work the gas? Pull it back and then brakes forward. Four five two. Do you ever use the brakes? No. You just lift a little bit. Just lift a little bit. And then that's the steering wheel. Is there like so for that steering wheel is there is it kind of like sim racing where there's more little bitty yeah. turns per radius? Yep. Yep. Little it doesn't time. seem like there's much turn in this though. Like, there's not. I mean, would it help? If it was, would it help if this though was like bigger, where you had more radius to turn? There is bigger, be more bigger ones, but I like the small one because I, I like to turn it more. A lot, of, a lot of guys just barely turn it. I don't like to turn it more. Right. So. Kind of like in the sexual world, you know, the big guys are lazy and the little ones, you know, they're doing all the work. I try to keep it simple since I'm working with the track. So, so how much can you spend, like, if you're like some idiot, like the Tony Stewart guys? What? So the Tony Stewart guys are over there. That's Custom Works. Right. Um, and he owns it or whatever. Yeah, he owns it. Um, one of their sprint cars is $400, just a kit. And then you paint it, put your electronics in it after you get it all said and done. It's a thousand dollars. 
So what about afterwards? Like if you want some trick controller, how much can you put in that? Like if you want best to best, all kinds of best shit. Best of the best, you probably 16, 2000. And then you, all it takes is one little mess up and you break something. Yeah, and, the arms are 10 bucks. So, right, how big are tires in this? That's where it's at one. So loss, I've ran right? these tires all week, but I've had I've had to use in years I'm past uh, five sets at a hundred dollars piece once for a really? complete set. Oh wow! Three, eight, two, so seven, which one five, burns? Three. Right rear, right front. Right rear, as you can tell. No right front though. I think mm -hmm. right front. Right front's just feathered. Left side good. don't get messed up. Really? Nope, never look brand new. Okay, what about left rear? Um, they're a little rolled now, over. Do you ever From switch side, this side to that side, or no. can you not do that? No, nope. can't Why? do that. They look the same. They'll get squirrely. Oh, okay. yeah. Time to go to the chili bowl. It's gonna be very interesting. <laughs> there you go. Appreciate it. Go ahead. So uh, picking up the win. This week, uh, the Coons cars. Talk about uh, running there with Keith. Yeah, Keith's got great cars, man. Uh, he's car. His cars drive forward really good, and I feel like that's what creates a lot of his success in here the last few years. Um, you know, with with my getting my first two Chili Bowls and Christopher doing three in a row, and Kyle having a lot of success each year in his cars, uh, and just um, having struggles at the end of the races with engines or uh, you know a few mistakes that. Awesome race. And it seems like your YouTube channel's kicking off too. I'm You're trying. going to Hawaii, jumping off yeah. bricks. I mean, what the hell? I mean, and then you go to the Keith Coon shop. That's probably the best yeah, in depth. I feel like people, uh, you know, they like to see that kind of stuff outside of racing. And, right. you know, instead of just posting racing all the time, why not post other things that I get to enjoy and do? And, um, you know, I, I went up to Keith to fit my Chili Bowl car and I asked him if I could tour his shop and I walked through it and put it on my YouTube channel and it got a bunch of views, which is really cool. Now, you are one of the first guys, kinda, to say no to the NASCAR trail and stick to dirt. Do you think that's helped with your fan base in dirt for people? And maybe not everyone knows, because you mentioned, or I say, three million for a truck ride. They're like, that doesn't make sense, when that's really what it is in a way. Yeah, that's what it costs. Um, and when I was approached for my second season, I my family had to pay a budget, and or we had, and we had to make a decision quick on it, and I just didn't think it was worth, uh, you know, my family's hard-earned money to put me in equipment that, you know, I wasn't getting the job done in. So why should they waste their money um, on my career that it wasn't really going in the right direction? For uh, for what it costs to race, uh, you know, a ch one truck race, uh, I can spend, we can spend for 90 sprint car races. So um, I just, uh, I had to experience it and I'm really fortunate to be in that situation where my family allowed me to uh, see if that was gonna be the path of my career and it didn't work out. How much do you drive those cars? Is it really vehicle dependent? I feel like uh, it's great engines and great cars and, and great personnel in your organization. So drive really? Uh, yeah, it doesn't take much to go good, go around there and those things. You it have can to make have, you look good or make you look bad. One yeah, of the two, you have to have that. a good pit crew, a good mechanic, you know, good owner. I mean, there, there's a lot to it. And I had some of the pieces, but not all of them. You know, for me to get the opportunity, I was really thankful, but it just never ended up working out. And it allowed me to come back to dirt racing and, and be in front of these great fans full time. Well, and honestly, I think winning a World Outlaw race is just as difficult, or a big sprint car race, or Northern California race, just as difficult as an Xfinity or a Cup race. Yes, absolutely. You I know. think World of Outlaw races are probably the toughest races in the world to win. How are you? What's up, buddy? How are you? Thanks for getting a shirt, man.
We're at the Chili Bone Midget Nationals, and we got the Change Gang with us. Burkey, uh, Brukita, and Rev, uh, what I'm was just it? I'm All right, Revento. Corey. All right, Corey. Anyway, Ravento <laughs> over here. What's his real name? John? He kind of looks like a John with that hair. Oh. No. Yeah. So y'all basically mortgaged the house for this? Or like gave you gave up your student loans? They weren't student loans. What did you do to help get this It car? was a grant. Okay. Like Justin Grant? No. It's you know he's, grant. he's in his heat race, right? Justin Grant. Oh. Hey, you saw Justin Grant's in your heat, right? Yeah. That Ed Bassmaster? Oh no, what's Over, what, you got that sponsor. rain? What's not there? I want to drink some of Maybe you, that's why my heart's pounding. you want to sip some of his juice? Probably. Mm -hmm. Honestly, they're better than the bangs. Oh, they're kind of a midpoint like between. Really bad. They're kind of a midpoint between like a regular Red Speaking Bull and a bang. <laughs> Why'd you point it at that dude? No, I was pointing at her hair. Bangs. Oh. Bangs. They're all frizzy. Like, You're talking a lot of shit should, for somebody who's wearing a mole hat. Oh boy. Gonna be lining up. We lining up, boy. You just got, you just got, you basically, you basically put an X on your car, bro. That's a target. There goes your tire sponsorship from Larson. We're not getting any more used ones from him. That's right, boy. <laughs> How's it go, Yee Yee? Yee Yee? I'm just teasing. I like watching your entertainment. Oh, okay. Okay. Making sure. Yeah, so who, who's originally supposed to be in it? Uh, a guy, Rob Cahill, was in it last year from uh, Minnesota. The tag showed 4,500 earlier. I don't know if it may yeah, have been it's right. It's double. It's 9,000. Okay. It's, it's from my sprint car, so I just put, I just change it, but I don't change the settings. You just gotta double okay. it. I was like, man, I know it sounded like it twisted more than that, but I was like, I oh, wasn't on the gas a whole lot, so maybe it did. Yeah. What, what, were, what, uh, were you turning it hard, or what could you turn on your other car? Like 85. That's what it was chipped at, though. Or do you want to turn this? Nine, 92. They only turned the SR11 is 91. Look who we found here. Kevin Wood. What's up? What heat is he? he? This is heat five. And, he, and he, he's going to start on the pole. You got him? Now, get the Osaka. Yeah, you're not supposed to be up here, so don't smile. Uh, that's racist. And there's long live the chance. The sticker's on there now. You can put it upside down so we can read it. Wow, I can't believe you said that, bro. What the hell, man? Raven Colt, bro. Raven Colt. He took the car you were trying to rent and yeah. rented it before you could. So I'm not sure if I want him to do good or, or not do good. He took my ride, you know. It's, it's got long lived the chaz on both sides, boy. You see that sticker on there? Look at that. Look at that sticker right there. That's what I'm talking about, Think about old girl over there. Old girl 78 with that big old fat booty on it. Look how big that damn tank is on it. Hey, I'm looking up the skirt, Paul. Rear percentage. Huh? Rear percentage. Rear percentage? I just wasn't driving hard enough at first. Once I started driving, I... they're always named in the qualifier. I mean, they're yeah. pretty fucking loaded. Grant. Grant's in it. Well, Grant's in it, then Thorson's in it because he's in the same one. Yeah. First three rows. 
contenders for the win tonight. Goodbye, McQueen, Thrash. I think you're better than Laser. Who's that, Rosenboom? Yeah, he is. I'm thinking about to go into turn one and two, and uh, Rosenboom, their ass up in the wall. Rosenboom, take out Peck. Oh, oh, well, we got a fight? Oh, my. Oh, my. I think if I can get four cars, I should be able to be in that. Like you I need to start two. doing it saying I paid 500 bucks for a crash deposit and I need to lose it tonight. You need to use that crash that. deposit now. I don't want to do that. Hey, those motherfuckers who are running on the edge, they ain't worried about a crash deposit. Yeah, because they got fucking $70,000 in their race car. Well, hey, fuck. hey. With a mustache like that, we can make 500 somewhere on the side streets of Tulsa, I guarantee you. And that's head down by my hotel, my dude's here for some money. <laughs> I almost hit two of them on the way here, either, dude, walking right in the middle of the street. And the lady started yelling, I don't know what she was talking about. You spent more on eye racing. Yeah, I did, bro. So, I mean, use it, bro. Oh, Let's do it. Hold on, redo that. I'm going to get up close. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> What's your problem? Fucking Just because you don't kiss girls doesn't breeze. mean you gotta get mad at him. Hey, the deal is he's jealous of you because you kissed him. Yep. Anyone with Oakleys that are clear. Yep. Say so Oakleys are queer? What? I say anyone with Oakleys that are clear. <laughs> you homophobic bastard. <laughs> well, what do you think of this? Oh, I mean, the car's great. I'm just guessing if we can get four cars, you know, make the main. What do you think of pineapple and vodka? <sighs> Not my favorite. Vodka makes me stupid. Is it stupid opposite of no? Huh? I can't believe you're still using that old Raven Colt deal I made a long time ago. Dude, that thing is legit. It's, it's sick, bro. I'm telling you. Remember when I put your name in the number, then everyone else started doing it? Yeah. I had some of those. I thought about bringing for that. So what do you think of this whole... Uh, Instead of bringing your own car, just written and riding and showing up. Man, honestly, for the money we spend, if bringing our own it shit been up a lot here, better. I mean, we spend every time we bring our own car, we spend five grand, anyways. You know, I mean, at the minimum. Speaking of renting rides, what the hell is that? That's a rent -a ride. That's a hell of a rent -a ride right there, boy. Look at that skirt. Why did you pick the midget? Well, I mean, that's way cheaper. Hard to pass, but no, it, that's hard to pass. No, that's very like easy. So you get infected. That's you very have like a, easy a to pass. It's a urine screen deal. You got it. Yeah. Hard once to pass you, once you get in it, you're gonna have some shit that don't want to pass. <laughs> that's Tulsa for you, ladies and gentlemen. That's Tulsa. Was that that girl you almost ran over earlier? No. Oh, okay. No. Out of Mesquite, Texas, the 78 Raven Cup. Step into it. I was like, cool, do my hair on the way there. Because we left at five in the morning. And 
That happened. Huh? Yeah, that happened. <laughs> it doesn't look outside. bad. I'm just fucking with you. This is why I'm so insecure. <laughs> no <the> bullshit. <laughs> it doesn't. Have to shut up. All right. She's about to go fucking slit her wrist. I'm no. I'm not. I'm just so confused. Remember, like, attention. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Hawkins. Josh Hawkins. 
Oh, that's that, him? That, yeah, he, he rented out one of those. Oh, shit. Yeah, so he's pretty good, yeah. But that's an SR11. There's Toyotas up in there. I mean, here we go. Long live the Chaz on the track. There's a Christopher Larson, and I'm not lying. That's a real person. Here's our little spot. For Loser. Where are you from? I, I want to guess, California. Yeah. Yeah, you're gay. Hey, what do you think of Christopher and Larson? Larson's gonna smoke him. No, 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 the literal Christopher Larson. Oh, Christopher Larson. Yeah, he's right there in that black car. He's, that guy's name is Christopher Larson. I'm not lying. I don't know. He's from Texas. There's a lot of Texas guys coming up, though. Brandon Cole. And then that purple white car right in front of us is Kyle Jones. He's a big badass in Texas. And then the H is Josh Hopkins. He's in the Beeson car. Wait, Michelle Melton right there. That 21, a real badass female. They, they call her Michelle Parsons now because she wiped up. But she's a good Texas sprint car driver too. This is a Texas race right here. And then Ben Worth. And Tony Walden. This is a good one. 